Good morning. Good morning. Merry Christmas. I want y'all to meet Alice. This is my granddaughter. I want you guys, can you wave hi to everybody? They're nice people. They really are. <laughs> They're loving people. Look over here. This is good. This is, this is, she, she is 17 months, and so she's here to do the announcements with me. So she can do that. <laughs> now she's waving. Okay, there we go. Now you can wave. She's waving at those beautiful, wonderful people. I hope y'all had a wonderful Christmas. Oh, wonderful Christmas. Yeah. I think mommy's mom, grandma's here and the grandma <laughs> And she saw mommy walk in, I think. So mommy and, and daddy are somewhere around. There's Reagan and everything. So she, she can go. She can walk on over there. She's fine. She can. All, right, so, all right. So we are so glad to see y'all here today. I want to share with you some news. First of all, the upper room is available for January and February. This is the devotional guide. It's really good for daily devotional readings. And it's going to be available right here up on the left. Uh, just go up there by the, the new chairlift that we have. You can take that chairlift if you want to or just take the stairs. And they'll have the upper rooms there. Uh, so be sure to pick it up. I want to welcome our folks who are watching us online. We thank you all for participating with us. I want to share some really good news from our missions team as far as what is uh, taking place this Christmas. Your generosity. And this is from Lonnie Thies, who's, uh, who's written me that... Uh, Share the following about Christmas highlights. Okay, it says, the angel tree. The angel tree, we gave those gifts out last Tuesday to the, uh, the families from Burnett. 21 families were blessed. And I say not just one child per family, but sometimes two or three or more kids in the family were blessed. But 21 families, that was the fourth year we've adopted, had the Burnett angel tree. So thank you for all. A lot of these notes that you see on the rail, these are thank you notes from families thanking you for your generosity. So thank you very much for that. In addition, we had what's called the gift of hope to help kids that were in child protective services that needed to have Christmas. And we were able to raise enough for each of them to get a $100 gift card for 10 kids. And they worked with Cornerstone Baptist Church, Pastor Nick Ash over there. And they worked with, uh, with Terrell Police and Fire Department uh, firefighters that went out and actually helped take these kids shopping with their $100 gift card. And it was awesome that they could do that. So there was uh, 10, 10 kids. We helped with that, 10 kids that were from a CPS situation. And then to help people that are homeless or are living in housing insecure situations, we created 15 shoe boxes that were donated here to help to help uh, to shoe box with all kinds of good things in there. We were able to give those out. And through other Terrell churches, Working together, we collected 100 of those shoe boxes. So thanks to all for making a difference. And Merry Christmas. It is a joy to know that God is at work uh, through us. So now it's time for our song of celebration. It's number 234. Oh, come all ye faithful. The words should be on the screen, right? And also in the hymnals, but 234. There we go. Oh, come all ye faithful. Please stand, yes. Now I'd like to introduce my wife, Daria McNabb, who has a few brief announcements for us.
We had a great time last Tuesday afternoon with the youth of our church going out to Debbie and Lonnie Feast's home for a Christmas party and a cookout. We had lots of fun. We had hot dogs and we made s'mores and we just had a great time. Our youth are very engaged in service and study and also having fun. Many of them are about to start confirmation. We will have a very important parents meeting at 4 p.m. Sunday, January 2nd in Fellowship Hall. If you have a middle school or a high school aged child or grandchild or someone you know who could benefit from coming to Faith in Christ by confirmation classes, please see Pastor Pete or Mrs. Debbie Thies. We're so glad you're here, whether in person or online. Please let us know you're here. Why don't you do that right now? Register your attendance online. Share anything you would like to let us know. Prayer concerns or questions that you might have, just go to fumctarrell.org and scroll down on the left-hand side. Thank you for your financial support for the ministries of this church. There are three ways you can give. You can place your gifts in the wooden boxes by the exits, or you can drop off or mail your check to 503 West College Street, Terrell, Texas, or you can go online to our website, fumctarrell.org, and go to the big red donate button. Let me just briefly say a word okay. that many of you might want to be making year-end gifts to the church, and you're welcome to drop those off at the church. We will be closed tomorrow, which is Monday, uh, for the, just a holiday, take a day off. So, But we'll be open on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this week. We'd love to see you. Thank you for your faithfulness and your generosity. Now hear this call together from Psalm 148. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Praise him sun and moon. Praise him all the shining stars. Praise him you highest heavens and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord for he commanded and they were created. Our next hymn is number 229, Infant Holy, Infant Lowly. for today comes from Luke 2 verses 8 through 20 and this is from the King James Version and there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field keeping watch over their flock by night and lo the angel of the Lord came upon them and the glory of the Lord shone round about them and they were sore afraid and the angel said unto them fear not for behold I bring you good tidings of great joy which shall be to all people for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. 
And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which has come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told them concerning the child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But, men, but Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen, as it was told unto them. time for our prayers. If you lift it up, you look at the back of your, your bulletin, you can find a number of prayer concerns that we have listed there. Uh, for Donna Williams, who's recovering at Highland Meadows in Rockwall after a kidney infection. Be also with uh, my friend and classmate, um, Kelly Sanford, as pastor of C.C. Young, as she's continuing to uh, search. They're searching for her adult son in California, who's been missing for about a month now. And so they're, they're in need of much prayer there. Also, Leland Calthorpe and Kay Martin are listed there. We continue to lift up the children in our church family who are, who are facing challenges. We face uh, challenges with uh, Stella Archer, who's dealing with cancer. And <clears throat> the great-grandson of uh, Terry and Jerry Chambers, Jonah Resnick, who has had open-heart surgery. And also for um, Uriah Kirby, the nephew of Marsha Henderson, who's been in Children's Hospital. I believe he's out now and recovering uh, with spina bifida, the things that he's been dealing with. So we want to pray for these children, especially at Christmas time. Also, I saw on the news today that Bishop Archbishop Desmond Tutu of South Africa died at the age of 90. We give thanks for his life and his ability to change the world, to live out his faith. And uh, we pray for his, the mission that he had of being brave and being willing to, to go forth and shine the light of Christ into a world that needed to see Jesus. We give thanks for him and his life and may his his ministry continue may we go to god in prayer now loving lord we thank you that you did come at christmas and you came to bring light and hope into the world and you came to give us new life through you and in this moment lord we pray that christmas is not something that we just come to and do and get back to normal but that we live into a new normal of being your children, living and growing in faith, living in life and life to the full through you. Lord, we lift up these folks that we mentioned earlier, but especially these three children that are suffering life-threatening illnesses. Lord, we ask your prayers that you be with them. And Lord, we ask your prayers for our community, that we may be a more just community, maybe one that's more caring, that we may come away from the manger truly changed. 
Now may we pray the Lord's Prayer as you taught us to pray. Together, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. May us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. I would like to also ask you for, uh, for prayers for Taylor, who is out ill today. He's worked so hard and he's got a, a fever or something he's dealing with right now. So we just ask your prayers for, for Taylor Bremager. And thank you, Aaron, for being able to cover everything so much today on this, this special day that we have. And now uh, we have some special music that Aaron's going to share with us. As you know, this is our last Sunday of the year, and this has been our second tough year for all of us. So I wanted to sing for you P.A. Hazel. This is arranged by Andrew Weber of Family Opera and Cats Thing. The Latin is P.A. Hazel, Merciful Jesus, who you told us he takes away, Peccato Mundi, the sins of the world. Dona Eis Requiem. Grant them rest. And it'll be that in Latin for two verses, and then the third verse is like that, except instead of Pia Yesu, it's on you stay by no God. And that was beautiful. That means so much. Thank you for sharing that. It is the end of the year, and you do start thinking about what your hopes and dreams are 
for next year, for 2022, and those things that you feel God's calling you to go in, new directions, that sort of thing. And so I pray that this time of Christmas, of us coming to the manger and seeing the baby Jesus, I hope it's time that doesn't just say, hey, let's just go back to the way things were always in the past, but that God is calling you to something new in 2022, that God is calling you to step forward. I mentioned at Christmas Eve service, we have a, a, the walk to Emmaus, and I have these applications right here. That there's a walk uh, in February for the men, there's one in April for the women. It's a, it's a spiritual retreat that gives you an opportunity to go. We have some who've been here in this church who've been on the walk to Emmaus, and there, there's others, yeah, I know Dee Dee also and everything, so others that may want to consider uh, encouraging somebody to go, but 72 hours to spend in, in a spiritual retreat setting is amazing and it's fun. And so that's going to be in Royce City, not very far from us. There are other things you may be thinking about, Bible studies to become part of in the new year. We have a disciple Bible study. We also have a, a class on Mondays that's, uh, that Elizabeth Pachinski teaches. So there are opportunities for growth in 2022 that you may really want to think about, opportunities for service as well, things that you could go into. So the question is, when the shepherds came that night, when they came to the manger, what did they go away doing? Well, those of you who, who read the scripture, we heard it again today, they went away rejoicing. They went away rejoicing. Well, there's a filmmaker named Dallas Jenkins who's come up with a, a movie called The Chosen. You may have heard of it. It's a great series they have developed called The Chosen. And so today, I want to share with you uh, a, a a bonus feature from The Chosen. It's 17 minutes long. And that's, this is going to be our sermon today, basically. So, Because on Christmas, when Christmas comes a day after, when Sunday comes a day after Christmas, you get leftovers, okay? <laughs> so this is what I'm bringing out for you, is my leftovers. Which my leftovers are really good sometimes, because you, you say, hey, this was a great Christmas Eve service we had. But we talked about coming to that manger. Now, what are you going to do with that? Go and see the manger, but come away changed. So we're going to show this video, like I said, 17 minutes. It's from the perspective of one shepherd, one shepherd who is different than the others. And then I've got a few questions for you, and I've got a microphone. And so instead of hearing me preach the whole time, I'm going to ask a few questions and pass the microphone. I may even get my son Austin to help with the microphone and hand it out to people. Drafted him just like that. <laughs> and uh, I want your response. So think about what you're seeing and then be ready to answer some questions. And I'm going to go back and watch from out there with our granddaughter. So let's go ahead and play. Lights. Lights. You get the lights.
O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah. From you shall come forth for me one who is to be ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from old, from ancient days. Therefore, he shall give them up unto the time when she who is in labor has given birth, and he shall be their peace. A reading from the scroll of the prophet Micah.
Thank you for the kindness. And my name is Samuel. Out of my way. We must go.
his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end. To establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore.